boy Big Just. You know what I'm saying? Smug TV, we in the building. We actually in the studio. Yeah, yeah. How you doing today, man? I'm high, my brother. I'm high. I can't complain. Okay, okay. 2021. You know what I mean? 2020. At the end of the year, you, uh, well, somewhere at the end of the year or beginning of the year, you usually drop the collage. You know what I'm saying? This year, it don't seem like it was too controversial. <coughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, what's up with the list or the collage? Yeah, um, yeah, so for about, uh, I want to say for about the past four years, this year was the fifth year. Usually, either at the end of the previous year or at the beginning of the year, I drop a collage of all the artists in the bird that I feel like is, you know, making moves, making noise. They got a buzz. They got a good following. Um, and, you know, I put them all on this list. Now, to be honest with you, uh, the people call it a list, but it's actually a collage. I usually get about 30, maybe maybe 40 pictures of the up-and-coming artists, you know, that I feel like the bird and anybody else watching, you know, should keep their eyes on within that year. So, in, for instance, when I dropped the 2K21 list, that means the artist that's on this collage is the artist that you should be checking for within the year 2021. These are the artists that's going to be making noise and, you know, building that buzz up. But, yeah, you're right, though. Um... This year's list, it definitely didn't get as much controversy. All right, let me say this because you just explained something that I think people get misunderstood. You know what I mean? So you're making a collage for people to look out for the people. A lot of times people be like, okay, I don't even know who they are, so why are they on a the collage? Exactly, and that's the main point right there. Okay, you don't know who they are, but I'm tagging them in the picture they're actually getting on the comments and making comments themselves. So if you don't know who they are, you can actually get to know who they are by clicking on their name, clicking on their links when they post them, and that's that. And that, how does that come about for you? You know, like, how do you get the information of who should be on the collages? Um, I do it a couple of different ways. Um, I actually uh, do a little bit of research myself. You know, like sometimes I go and sit in studio sessions in different studios because um, I'm cool with a lot of the engineers around the city and I, you know, got a little bit of juice with them to where I could, you know, come sit in sometimes, you know what I mean, maybe soak up some motivation or, I mean, maybe even, you know, give out some pointers or some tips or something if I'm asked or whatever the case may be. But um, I also, you know, ask these engineers like, okay, so who else been in here and who else do you think is you know, going to make noise next year or, or this year, whatever the situation is. And I also uh, hit up producers, too, because I'm cool with a lot of the producers as well in the city. And I be hitting up a lot of the producers like, yo, bro, who you think should be on this year's list? Because by now, everybody's familiar with it. Now so it's kind of annual. Yeah, it's, it's annual. Expected, yeah. So whenever I, mean? I hit these people up, whether it be the producers or the engineers, and I'd be like, yo, who you think should be on the list? They'd be already having a couple people all ready to go. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, like, with, with, like, I understand that, you know, we get to see it on social media and things like that. So, is there anything else that, like, another way that we can hear these artists, an uh, easier way? Because what if somebody's not following Big Just on Facebook or social media? How else can these people be heard, you know, from this list? Actually, um... I haven't got to that point yet, but I think that I'm actually going to start collecting songs from each artist because every year when I put artists on there, every artist appreciates it. You know what I mean? No, don't nobody look at it like it's corny or I've never had an artist tell me, yo, take my picture off of there. Like, so all the artists, they appreciate me doing it. And I do think that moving forward that once I... um create the collage, I'm going to also, in in turn, ask that artist to submit me a song. It don't have to be produced by me, because that's another thing that was controversial about it. They're like, oh, he just putting people on there who he produced. That's not the case, but I am going to start having artists submit music, and I'm going to put it together as a, a mixtape and, you know, put it out there for the people to get to know the artists that they don't know. So that ought to be like a 2K21 
uh, compilation kind of like the big it'll be a just compila- compilation. Yeah, like a compilation thing, right? Okay, right. Okay, okay. That's and dope. plus, it'll help those artists get that exposure. It'll help those artists get in front of the people that they couldn't reach or that they may have not reached that don't know who they are. Okay, that's dope. So, do you uh, feel like you got a responsibility now when it comes to that? Um. Yeah, I honestly I could say yeah. I could say, yeah, um, not so much as a responsibility, like a chore per se, but something that I actually look forward to doing, you know what I mean? Like the people look forward to me doing it and I look forward to doing it, you know what I mean, myself as well. Like it's, okay. you know, it's, it's, it's something fun, you know? Small CD, one, two, three.